Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, Silver's Journey, here with Silver and Marigold, who are currently getting ready to hunt down an elk and feed their three little babies. Oh good, that's a very weakened cow elk. But yes, they're, they're three, three little babies, my friends. We have indeed already lost one of our babies. Unfortunately, one of our wolf pups, uh, and this is such a wiggly cow elk, like hold still for two seconds so I can catch up with you. But why can I not catch up with her? Silver, you're really slow. I know you're kind of sad right now, but you need a little bit more of a boost of speed. And let's go get her. You have three children left to think of, Silver. You can't slow down. All right, let's get this cow elk. There we go. That is more like it. Let's get her away from that lake they tend to drown in, and then we can't get the meat. And chase her oh, all the way across the river. Really, Miss Cow Elk? That's gonna make things a little tricky for me. I have three cubs back over at that, or three pups back at that den to take care of. Uh, but yes, I, I can't believe we've already lost one of them. Little Journey did indeed not make it after a bear reached into our den and took him from us. And so his journey has, unfortunately, forgive the pun, come to an end. And I just am stunned that Silver and Marigold have had to deal with the predators being amazingly vicious this time around. It is our very first litter at the traditional family den of our, our wonderful wolves. There we go. Just enough to top off his health. We'll leave that carcass there to feed on when it's time to go on a journey to the summer hunting grounds. But unfortunately, Silver's reputation did precede him. And everyone, oh, little dragonfly, and all of the surrounding predators, all of the creatures for whom the arrival of the famous cowboy Silver, the roughened wolf who survived Cougar Canyon and worked his way in a terrorizing blaze through the Amethyst Mountain Packs, which really is unfair, just kind of rumors that got out of hand. After all, Silver and Marigold ended up fending for themselves, like defending their lives against the Wapiti Pack. But Silver and Marigold did actually defeat the main breeding male, the Patriarch of the Wapiti Pack, and thus their reputation ended up preceding them. But all of the predators who knew that these rough and tough, this rough and tough pair were coming, they are not easing up. They want to see what we're really made of. Even these little coyotes. Get out of here. You cannot eat my babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, and our pack affinity is so low. I just really feel like all of our pups are so bold. They just hardly listen to a word we say. Uh, but at least they have kale. All right, and Opal really rejects a lot of food. I've noticed that. I'll walk in and then I will press just the feeding button to see which one of the pups kind of has more of a personality to step forward and to kind of fight for their own food. And to be honest, Opal is always the last one to do so. It's like she's just not interested. She's distracted by who knows who knows what. Maybe, maybe if Opal ends up surviving and we end up voting her as the potential... <gasps> a bear! A bear! Opal! Opal! It might be the same bear that came. Okay, come on. I feel like this could potentially be... Ouch. Did we get him? Yes! We chased him away! It's probably the same bear who was coming back in order to harass uh, our pups. Oh gosh, and our territory marker is down so low we might start seeing stranger wolves if I don't hurry. But it was probably the same bear that took little Journey. He was back for another one of our silver wolves. Oh, I'm so glad we managed to defeat him. Holy, like, holy bears. All right, pups are going to need to stay in the den for just a minute. Let's go get some food. Because Silver has once again, he must just be covered in scars. Can you even imagine? Ah, and Opal didn't eat enough, so she's actually unfortunately pretty hungry. But we need to go over to one of our carcasses now because we are taking so much damage. But thankfully, if we actually are able to defeat one more bear... We're gonna say Marigold has been the one helping us with defeating those bears. And especially after losing one of her puppies to a bear, Marigold is not going to stand by and let this happen. She is going to become a bear butt biter herself. 
And with that, get out of here. This is our elk carcass. And with that, Marigold will actually gain a reputation. And if she, if we can defeat like and chase away four bears, then we will be able to lower the difficulty level again. We are currently on arduous and we can lower it to challenging if we defeat one more bear, but we still have the daily risk of a one in 12 chance. And I do roll on our random generator every time before we start uh, our adventures. Uh, we have a, excuse me, one in 12, not one in four. Oh, holy cow, that would be way too stressful. We have a one in 12 chance until we defeat four cougars, and we have only defeated one so far, of losing our pups to a cougar that is chasing silver. So we wanna, we wanna get rid of the cougars, but the bears we can also chase away if Marigold's reputation gets big enough through chasing away four of them. All right, we can chase them away and lower the difficulty. Sorry, hunting, worrying about the survival of my wolf pups. Look at how they are so disobedient. Why do we have a, a little pack that just wants nothing to do at all? Hang on, Marigold, let's let it get a little closer. With like behaving, their pack affinity is just at the worst that I have ever seen it with my wolf pups before. At least we're bringing the food to them. All right, come on. Unfortunately, it will attract some coyotes too, though. Marigold, now I can use your help, my dear. Oh, thank you, Marigold. Let's wait to get some stamina back. Help her with the last of the hunt. All right, up we go. There. Oh, it, it led us into a tree. All right, good job, Marigold. Now Opal is really hungry but at least we have another stable supply of food nearby. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the pups. I can't believe our pack affinity is so low. I, I think it's because I'm gonna say they are all so ridiculously willful, just like their mother. They're all super bold. They don't wanna be told what to do. And this is a sign of the bold personality really backfiring on us. All right, let's go ahead, get over here. Opal, you need to eat. You haven't listened to us on the fact that you need to eat. While your mother feeds you, I'm gonna mark this territory frantically because it was low enough almost that stranger wolves could start coming and they are very difficult to defeat when they start showing up. There we go. Especially, oh, and there is actually a chance. I won't tell you guys the odds because it's a secret, but there is actually a chance that the Beartooth Gang, until Crow defeats all of them, could uh, affect the wolf pups. So that is actually in the background. I'll talk more about that in Crow's adventures, though. I do roll for a lot of threats before we start each day's adventures. These wolf pups have a lot going on in their life. <gasps> but if we defeat this bear, which shouldn't be hard. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Yes, we have chased the grizzly away, you guys. Huzzah. We're gonna say Marigold did that as well. Uh, we now can drop it to challenging. <laughs> Maybe four grizzlies is too easy, uh, but we can drop it to challenging because we have, uh, we defeated one cougar which dropped it to arduous and now we can drop it to challenging because we have defeated four grizzlies <laughs> maybe that makes it a little too easy because grizzlies are kind of cowards if you can catch them in time but i really feel like we shouldn't say too much about that because i mean i want to be like oh the grizzlies are cowards but you guys we kind of lost a baby to a grizzly so we shouldn't underestimate them all right can we raise there Good job, children. We really need you all to start focusing. Pack affinity is difficult to raise with these little ones, so I think we just have to spend a lot of time. There. Opal is actually listening a lot. I feel like Opal and Kale are the two. Oh, and there we go. Now Horizon's listening. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Just as we were trying to teach them relaxed grins. I feel like I need to get the pack affinity up so that they'll just behave and especially follow us once we start traveling. All right, get out of here, coyote. Jeez, how many coyotes are we gonna take out? 
How many do we currently have? Oh, they're almost big enough. I can't believe they're almost big enough to start going on a journey already. Jeez, we're about to get the 100th coyote. That just makes me think about Silver wearing a cowboy hat all over again. Because, you know, like wild coyotes in the Wild West. Oh my gosh, Kale, I think we're about to actually make it so you guys are like big enough to leave. I think Marigold's actually feeling feeding at Kale the last little bit that we need. Because they need to reach 15 pounds each. Alright, come on little ones. You all need to listen. That's right. Pack affinity is finally going up. You need to learn that this is your mother's favorite tail position. Completely confident. Alright, they, they can't do anything with their little tiny tails yet, so that's fine. Alright, that's right. I want pack affinity up before we leave this place and head towards the summer hunting ground. You are not part of the pack, Coyote. You do not count. You must remove yourself. But the 100th Coyote! <gasps> what? You guys! The 100th coyote that has been chased away and killed by the dawn pack. That has to count for something really special. Come on. Silver, our little wild west rough and tough cowboy wolf, has now cleared out the 100th coyote. And he's gonna possibly have the 100th cow elk kill. Like, what? Man, I really want to like see Silver with a cowboy hat. I've never ever ever wanted to see my wolves with any kind of clothing before, but Silver with a cowboy hat just sounds amazing. Especially because of this. But alright, so. I want to get their little pack affinity up before we go. These kids need to learn. That's right guys, come on. Oh, look at everybody! They were listening when Marigold came too. They needed both their parents to be like, look! Focus! <laughs> this is for your survival, okay? <laughs> okay, this is so cute. I might try to get Pack Affinity to like 100 before we leave for the summer hunting grounds in the future too. Because it feels like we're training them. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at that! Silver is doing special training sessions with his kids. I'll make a wolf out of you. There we go. Alright, and we'll go ahead and feed everybody really quickly. And then we'll go get some more of the food. There. All right, everybody, good, good, wonderful. We have fed our pups and kept at least one alive. We're ready to continue. We're gonna go ahead, let's do it. We're gonna start, of course, the traditional beginning, unfortunately, to uh, this journey. The scree, scree, scree of an eagle. All right, come along, little ones. We're out of here. This is the, the family den. Marigold's freaking out. I don't think she's ever run into an eagle before. Did we chase the eagle off? Opal, come on. I literally shoved Horizon off the cliff behind me. I'm pretty sure that counted as chasing the eagle off, but Opal's lagging behind a little bit. Oh. The absolute exhaustion and fear and terror for the sake of our wolf pups is not yet over my friends in fact one could say it is just beginning <gasps> you are kidding me what have we not had a busy enough day have we not had a busy enough time stay with me dang it the cougar has has the advantage on the cliff do not bring Horizon right to the cougar! <gasps> oh, thank you. We can now drop the challenge down to pretty easy. I did not expect to run into that many cougars. It is daytime. You do not run into the cougars in this game in daytime. But we have run into a total of two cougars now. So we can drop it all the way down to pretty easy for the rest of this litter. But until we defeat four cougars, there still is a 1 in 12 chance that each time we come back to these adventures, we will actually have a wolf pup stolen from us by those cougars during the night. <gasps> or to the side by a cheeky coyote who tries to just show up while we are fighting off a cougar. Okay, guys. 
still a lot of adventure left to go with these little ones. We're gonna have to do our best to help them survive. But let's get over to the big old carcass that we left down here, fill up and head out. So actually I think there's an even close, closer carcass right over here. So let's go this way. But geez, all right. There's a lot of a journey ahead. It looks like Marigold really wants to defend Horizon in particular. So we'll have to remember that. She's very partial to the little girl who reminds her, uh, at least color-wise, of herself. She's not nearly as bold as Opal. There we go. And this time she snagged Kale, the only boy. And Opal is still lagging behind. So we're gonna have to keep a close eye on her for our future journeys. But if you could, do please leave a like for our cowboy coyote killer, Silver. And if you would like to join us on this and many other hair raising journeys, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.